My brothers and sisters, we have a few more hours of this month of Ramadan. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive. So forgive me. If we've achieved forgiveness, we have achieved the month of Ramadan. Now there is a question. How do I know that my Ramadan was actually accepted by Allah and I've come out of it totally forgiven? The answer is very simple. If your life has changed, yes, it was accepted by Allah, which means you've achieved the broader spiritual benefit of the month of Ramadan known as the taqwa that comes with it. But if your life hasn't changed and as soon as the moon is sighted, you go back to your bad ways and habits. It means that you have not achieved anything besides the fulfillment of a duty and an obligation, not in the proper manner, but just to get it over and done with that should not be the case, but rather the former should be the case whereby we have the mercy of Allah, the consciousness of Allah. My life changed. I've become a changed person. I've quit habits. Even if I've changed one or two major things in my life in order to please Allah, I know there are certain things that I've been trying to uh, quit for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going to quit them. That should be the attitude. And I know that there are certain things I need to do for the pleasure of Allah. I'm going to do them. I'm going to make sure that I fulfill this come what may. That is the attitude. When we've changed even a little bit in this month of Ramadan, we would definitely be from amongst those who have benefited from the month. And we know that it's accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we have changed. So my brothers and sisters, remember this. When the Ramadan is coming to an end, don't become uh, relaxed and don't, you know, think for, for a moment that now it's the dying moments. It's OK, I can calm down. These are the most exciting times of the month of Ramadan. This is why Laylatul Qadr was not at the beginning of Ramadan. Imagine if it was the first few days, the first odd days, the third, say the other way around, the third or the fifth or the first of Ramadan. We would not even worship Allah towards the end of Ramadan. I thank Allah who is the all wise in his divine wisdom. He has actually prescribed for us that the time of Laylatul Qadr will be one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan, possibly more probably the odd one of the odd nights from among the last 10 nights of Ramadan, most likely one of the last few nights of the odd nights from the month of Ramadan, but we don't know for certain which night it is. So subhanallah, according to the Jumhurul Ummah, we're supposed to be searching for this night. Taharraw Laylat al-Qadri. Taharraw Laylat al-Qadri. Fil witri min al-ashri al-awakhiri min Ramadan. You know, search for the night of, of uh, uh, decree in the odd nights from the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And that's what we've been doing. We ask Allah to make us from among those who achieve.